Uh, this is a 700 meter long tunnel. Uh, and at the end, there is a TV screen. You should see the beam there. Dump. It's out. OK, so next. OK, a couple of cycles, and you should see a beam on this top left screen. After the beam is injected, it takes about five seconds for acquisition of the data from the, uh, from the beam monitors. Okay, five, four, three, two, <laughs> one, zero, nothing. Yes, sir. yes. And here, voila. Wow, here we are. I'm, 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 I'm going to win my bet. Yeah. <laughs> one hour, one hour, one hour. Okay, three, two, one, Faisal. Way! Merci à tout le monde. This morning everything went smoothly and I think we are quite excited, quite happy and again congratulations to everyone and please enjoy <coughs> the, the, this result with us even if we have the distance in between. Thank you, everyone, and cheers. Thumbs up, and it did go quite well. And I think I should also congratulate the machine. We were really not expecting to get the first beam twice after less than one hour, because we saw actually the beam even three times around in our detectors, and that was really a, a big feat. Thank you, machine. But now our expectations are, of course, high. We want to see beam two. I don't know how long it will take. Uh, the LHC is its own prototype. Uh, uh, so it is very difficult to, uh, to judge how long it will take us to, co to commission this machine fully. Uh, I think it bodes very well this morning that uh, it will go smoothly uh, and I don't really want to give a date but within a few months we should be uh, operating for physics. I could add. We are too, too preoccupied for the moment to have emotion but we are at least extremely relieved that things went so well. Uh, it's a machine of enormous complexity and things, things can go wrong at any time. The total energy of two protons colliding with the LHC is 14 tau electron volts. The particle tracks from these collisions will be analyzed by computers connected to the detectors inside to the very birth of our universe evolved, what governs its behavior today, and where it's going in the future. Inside the proton are three quarks. Our one millimeter column, by comparison, would at least be equivalent to the distance between the Sun and Jupiter. <laughs> 